Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to not to make the mistake that I've already made. Uh, as you already know in the comment section under my video about uh, dual screen recording, I made up I made the, this mistake that I won't manage my audio file properly. I'm turning dreams into reality in the lab with the formula in chemistry. Leave memories, spark and motivate, and make the industry shake. We put the balls in the brakes. I'm talking one, one chance at best. Yes, hitting pitches for the culture, keep the pressure fresh. One shot, light a picture with you. Let's go. But in some weird reasons, I uh, messed up changing uh, audio lanes and uh, canceling all this uh, effect. Without further ado, let's jump into uh, Da Vinci. Okay, let's begin. Um, so uh, we will do a side chaining. So this is basically is communicating two audio lanes at the same time. Um, this is the thing that I messed up in the one of my previous videos uh, tutorials uh, basically uh, when I do all this stuff but I accidentally move tracks uh, move file from the track that it was communicating with the other track so everything uh, fall apart um, and I get beat up in a comment section down below so i will show you once again uh how to do it uh, how to not to mess it up uh so basically we have to choose which track uh contains our uh, vocals voiceovers or something like that so this is my uh zoom uh, eight file and uh our uh, track with um, music so this is my vacations over uh, music track so my music track is on the audio lane number three my voice over is on the audio lane number two so first we have to normalize the audio uh, we can right click on the um, on the file choose normalized audio levels find true peak and hit normalize and the process is coming and the same thing we do with the with the other track normalize audio level true peak normalize um, and this is basically turn the music uh, a little bit to not to clip on the uh, on the sound um, and to uh, to go the go further um so we have to sidechain uh this track so communicate when the music needs to get lower on volume to to us to be able to um, hear the the voice okay so basically it's um it's communicating the signal of the uh voice with the signal of the music uh track okay so we go to uh, we have to go to our vocal on the track number two go to dynamics and hit compressor and send and basically uh, what we uh, what we have to hear is a command to this track with our voice to send the information to other tracks that will be listening yes so we have to close this and we can go to our music and now we can go to dynamics and hit compressor and listen and this will mean that our music track will be listening where where and when our voice will kick in and it will uh, turn the volume uh, of our uh, music down okay so
now we have to play with threshold um, and um, uh, release time so uh, threshold is uh, value of uh, our uh, of the volume of our track so for for example as you can uh, as you can hear as long as my voice is rising uh, music is turned down I like to put my attack down all the way down this is what Jamie Fenn was suggesting uh, in his tutorial uh, and uh, hold uh, you have to play with the hold and release because it's uh, it depends on on the music track and on uh, on the breaks uh, in between your Mm, your vocal so as you can see if you uh, put too uh, quick of the release time it will uh, hop uh, up and down and it's not pleasant to hear so we can turn the hold a little bit up and release to to hold it a release a little bit more okay so as you can see everything is is fine okay so we have everything uh, set uh, so uh, it's a very um, simple trick to normalize and to put down the volume of your track every single time your voice will uh, kick into to the video and uh, as long as you all of course don't uh, forget to check if your uh, audio lane with the, the send and listen uh, feature uh, is not mixed up and you don't move accidentally uh, your track out of the way and do not uh, publish your videos without double checking so uh, learn on my mistakes don't make your own uh, this is it from me and hope you like it if you like it uh, hit the like button if you love it hit the subscribe button and i will see you in the next one bye